Continue learning an exciting day as we're going to be concluding the fourth chapter of Chayvis al So we pick it up on page 219, in which Rabbi Nebuchadnezzar teaches us the final and the seventh category where Bitochan applies. Now let's understand the seventh category, which is what? This is the category of the reward that we're going to get due to the chesed of Hashem in the next world. Not according to the deeds, not according to our maizim, not according to the mitzvahs that we do. But rather, the goodness is completely immeasurable. So what is the way of thinking about bitachin? How are we relying on Hashem when something is completely a chesed, completely beyond that which we deserve? She's asik, that we're, be, we're being baiteach, that we're relying. She's asik, basibas at magiyas isai. That number one, one should engage in the ways of growing. El madrigas chasidim, to get to higher, higher of levels of piety. And number two, uh, excuse me, Haruya and Lazah, which are worth which are worthy to him, and Misa Lakimis Bar Khastai, then thereby make us the people that are worthy for that reward. And that is, that we should try to be a little bit more parish, a little bit more abstinent to despise this world. If we're realizing that all the reward is a chesed, so we should slowly start diminishing what we're getting in this world, so that we're going to be able to fathom and build up the next world. And he should get out of his heart the love of this world, how much, unfortunately, we love God is we love physicalities. We have to slowly remove away from that. And what do you replace it with? And every little dot that we move away from physicalities, from pleasures, from gashmis, that little dot could be filled with the love for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Masri love, and with such a love, he dedicates himself to serve Hashem, and to delight with God. And to detach himself from this world, and conduct himself in the ways of the Nevi'im, the Chassidim, then his heart will be completely confident, and that Hashem will do chesed for us in this world, like he's going to give to us in the next world. However, so one who believes in Hashem, that Hashem's going to give us his love and his kindness and wonderful things, even without acting in such a manner. Who haksil vapasi says the Rabbin Vachai is a fool. He's an ignoramus who daim elamisha and amar aleim. You know this is similar to the Gemara in Saita. Oisim maisi zimri vakshes chay kipinchas. So when does a maisi zimri he commits zinos and he wants reward like a pinchas. Umisi money anchei amayla gedela zayis. And how do we d- identify people of this high level of? That they teach those who serve Hashem how to properly serve Hashem. And they accept their lot, even when it's difficult. We know it's sadik, even when things aren't perfect. He still accepts what Hashem does to him. And they view in their eyes, that everything is weighed on that scale. What does Hashem want from me? As we see from the test of Avram, as well, we're thrown into the fiery furnace with Daniel, but gave our eyes, thrown into the den of lions, that accepted it without any questions. And says, Anyone who chooses to accept death, to be Mikadishim Shemayim, while serving Hashem and not being disloyal of Irish bin Aisher, or who serves Hashem, choosing poverty over wealth, he realizes he's going to take the high road. He's okay when he's sick, he's not healthy. Distress over tranquility. And he comes to Hashem's judgment and he's okay. He walks away. Okay, I don't have everything. Okay, it's not the greatest, but he makes peace with it and he's fine with it. He doesn't question Hashem. He's right to the chesed of Hashem in the next world. 
I'm going to give an inheritance to those who love me and fill their storehouses. And says the Navi as far as they cannot see, he's going to do for those that await him. And furthermore, says David Amelch and Tvilim, Great is your goodness that you hidden away for those that fear. And of course, we remind ourselves it's not all or none. It's not living a complete abstinence, having nothing to do with this world. No. The Chayv is obviously teaching us for every little bit that we don't take that pleasure, that we're okay without that indulgence. That's a little bit more that we could fill with Avas Hashem, that we could come to the realization how much we need Hashem and slowly come higher, higher, closer and closer, me more by Teach in the reward that Hashem is going to give us.